I'm 28 and I'm from Nigeria. I'm studying MSc Computer Forensics. I came to UK September 12, 2011. And before I came to UK, I paid almost £15,700 for the boat tuition. I've completed the first semester of the MSc Computer Forensics and due completion was supposed to be April. And after my parents worked tooth and nail for me to gain this kind of quality education, more so they had to sell the family properties. I've been surviving, they've been sending me finance from home. Today we confirmed the, the rumor about uh, the, uh, the, the revocation of our license. What it meant is that the, the international student in London Met will have to seek admission to another university in the UK within 60 days, in which if they cannot do this, they have to return to their home country. If not, they will be tagged illegal immigrants. My family heard from the news back in Nigeria. This news has gone worldwide because the world is a global world. My dad, I just had a disturbing call today from my younger brother that my dad had an heart attack that's been rushed to the hospital. I don't even know his health condition now. The, the sleepless night I had studying, the way to get financed, we might, the, it's bad. And I don't know where UKBA are getting their figures from. But why will it affect all genuine students? We are going to uh, have a meeting now, Students Union Executives and NUS, and then we are going to turn down the street. The reason we are going there, we are going there for to help us plead with the UKPA to try and to try and change their decision on London Mets. I've not been to Don Street, this is the first time I'm going there now. I've not been there before. I was supposed to go there as a tourist, you understand, to see, but not the way we are going now to make a protest. You understand? It's not good. Originally I'm from Pakistan, but I'm a home student. My case is not directly affected as a student. I mean I can still study at London Metropolitan. However, the, the reason why I'm still affected by it is because the student union team, 10 executives, 9 out of them are international and I'm the only home um, officer, which means that if they all have 60 days to either leave the uni or go back, um, I'll be the only SU executive officer and I can't run the SU student union by myself, so that will impact all the students massively. We'll convey that message to the government that please reconsider this decision and after uh, we after meeting with the NUS and other students union we'll let you know about the date and time of the demo so the message from the demo would be to reinstate the license status